I'm nervous, but I'm only nervous because everyone knows what I'm like in terms of public failure. If I lose, this would be the most public failure ever if I don't actually manage to do it because everybody knows about it. Let's not think about that, eh? Let's not think about that. Well, we've managed to get there. We've managed to get now to two days until the challenge, only two days. Nerves have kicked in good and proper. I'm just not sleeping really now, but I'm gonna have to sleep soon. So, the last challenge I did, uh, the cycling one, uh, 1,500 miles. I finished with a 24 hour endurance cycle from Scotland back to Stockport in Manchester. Now think about this, I woke up at eight o'clock, I was on the road by 8.30, so my extreme sleep deprivation 24 hours was literally half an hour after I woke up. Now because we started at 7 p.m. to make sure everyone can see the challenge after work and then finish it 7 p.m. the following day, I'm gonna possibly wake up Wednesday morning about nine o'clock. I'm not gonna be setting off, I'm not gonna actually be starting the challenge until 7 p.m., which means I've got a full day awake before my 24 hours starts. It's gonna be a 36 to 48 hour sleep deprivation, endurance, just monster, that's what it's gonna be. Um, in terms of preparation, guys, no more prep to be done. No more prep to be done. Um, I've managed to put in, since the gym's opened up in lockdown, a, just a shed load of time working out. I mean, I, mean I've, I don't think I've been, I don't think I've ever been, I don't think I've ever been this big. So I think now my body's ready to do it. It's just to see if this thing, you know, stays strong throughout. Um, so just a big thank you please to every, a massive thank you actually to everybody who has helped um, spread the word of the challenge, spread the word of the charity um, and the Carl Thomas Project. Um, and let's see if we do something amazing. Let's see if we can raise as much money as possible. Let's see if we can set that world record. Let's see if we can get one step towards that, you know, that, that, that crazy, gay, crazy aim of 250,000 pounds for Ollie's army. It's exciting times now, we've got to see if it can work. We've had all this build up, all this build up, um, you know, of, of weeks and weeks and weeks, months and months, you know, COVID happened, the challenge was canceled, the gyms were closed. It's gonna happen now, it's gonna happen now. This time next week, I've either done it and it's been really good, or this time next week, it's gonna be, oh, at least he tried his best. I hope it's not, at least he tried his best but I'm very excited about it. So um, I've got my one last workout and then tomorrow I'm doing nothing but a full rest for all of the, uh, the Tuesday. And then on the Wednesday, I'm on the way down. I'm in the, uh, in this, there's the, go down with the support, uh, support team, getting to the, uh, getting to the, air, uh, the airstrip and then pulling the plane for a marathon. Weirdly, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm only nervous because everyone knows what I'm like in terms of public failure. If I lose, this will be the most public failure ever if I don't actually manage to do it because everybody knows about it. Let's not think about that, eh? Let's not think about that. Um, updates are gonna start coming thick and fast. When the challenge starts, there's gonna be an update every half an hour to an hour, including live streams, so you'll all see it. If I do it, you'll all see it. If I fail, you'll all see it. If I'm happy, you'll all see it. If I'm not happy, you'll also see it. <laughs> right, let's just get it done, guys. Let's get it done. Come on, this time next week, it's over, all right? Stop overthinking it, Carl. Let's go, bosh.